Our offering today is for Heritage Community Christian School. You may be curious a little bit as to how things are going right now, but the school is continuing on. Uh, many of the students, um, all of the students who can, are studying from home, and the school now knows how to do this. Um, and so the school is continuing to provide at-home education for uh, the vast majority of the students. You may notice that there are uh, students and teachers at the uh, main campus and also at our church still. And that is because the government has allowed uh, students with special needs to uh, get in-person education even during this stay-at-home order. And so please be in prayer for teachers who are trying to provide both uh, in-person learning for students with special needs and uh, remote learning for all of our other students as well. Uh, in the meantime, please also continue to pray for and consider your giving to uh, Heritage Community Christian School. We are so grateful for them. Also, just wanted to let you know that uh, Jeanette is going in for shots to help with her knee on Monday. So please be in prayer for her. Um, as well, if you could uh, be in prayer for Robert and Glory and their family, uh, there has been some COVID in their family. I'm not quite sure. They may be finished their quarantine now. I'm not sure, uh, but please be in prayer for them. They, they were all feeling okay um, and doing all right, but uh, of course they have uh, they have the farm and, and uh, the business to run and, and so on. So please be in prayer for them as well. Also, uh, Yvonne uh, was asking for prayer for her sister. Uh, she also has Parkinson's. So if you could be in prayer for her, she's going through a bit of a particularly rough patch in some ways right at this moment. So if you could uh, pray for her, that would be great. Let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for bringing us together, even though we must be apart during this stay-at-home order. Lord, we pray that you will guide us as we come to your scriptures in the message in a few moments, but also, O oh God, that you would guide us each and every day, that we would be able to connect with one another, even though we should be, uh, we need to be physically apart. Father, we pray as well that you would bless the Congregational Assistance Program among us, that it will help um, many of us with whatever it is that we may need uh, at this time or in the future. Lord, please guide, uh, guide counselors throughout this province and throughout this country and throughout the world as they seek to help people uh, navigate the uh, complexities of life. Father, we pray, too, that you will continue to be with Heritage Community Christian School. Bless the board. Bless Jennifer as the principal. Bless the rest of the staff and the volunteers and the students and the parents as they undergo a second uh, sort of lockdown-y sort of thing. Uh, Lord, please uh, help them to navigate the complications of providing in-person and remote learning for the appropriate students. Father, we pray, too, that you will help these, our tithes and offerings, to uh, not only uh, go to the ministry of Heritage Community Christian School and the ministry of this church, but also to encourage the hearts, minds uh, of the people who are doing all of this work. Lord, we pray, too, that uh, on a related note, you would be with thrifties as they uh, continue also to navigate the, the stay-at-home order and uh, do their work in whatever ways they can. We thank you so much for how uh, the work at Thrifties has contributed to the financial well-being of the school over the past number of years. Father, we pray uh, that you will be with all of the folks in our congregation. We think of those particularly who are alone at this time, who are uh, missing companionship and connection. Lord, we pray that you will guide them and help them. We also pray for families that may feel cooped up 
um, and a uh, little bit too much contact with each other sometimes. Lord, we pray for patience for, uh, for couples, for uh, families, for individuals, Lord, as we navigate these difficult times. Father, we also pray for uh, we also pray for our brothers and sisters uh, to the south of us. Again, Lord, we pray for the whole United States as as they have they continue to experience some pretty significant um, turbulence in their society at this time. Lord, we pray uh, that you would cover them over with your protection and that you would guide all the people of the United States. Um, yeah, no less than here, oh God. Guide us here as well, we pray. Father, we pray that closer to home, that you would be with Yvonne's sister uh, at this time, that you would be with Jeanette at this time, that you would be with Rob and Glo and their family at this time, and that you would guide each and every one of us, oh God. Please help us uh, to honor you um, and to honor the authorities that you have put in place over us, uh, not necessarily because they're right, oh God, because we know that they're just as human as the rest of us, but because they are there by your placement and your authority. Lord, we pray too that you will uh, very much guide us as we dive into your word. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.